Over the past couple of months, we as a community have been building up Autodev, our fork of Bolt.new, which we are building to be the best open source AI coding assistant. And so far, we have been absolutely crushing it. And now, things are about to get a hundred times more exciting. Last week, I announced that we're forming a strategic partnership that's going to supercharge this project beyond what any of us could even have dreamed of when we started. And now, I get to make that announcement to you, finally. And I'm just gonna cut right to the chase because I can't even contain my excitement anymore and I don't want to drag you through a bunch of fluff anyway. Automator, which is the platform that I and a few others have been building up behind the scenes for you, that is also the home of the Autodev community, is partnering with StackBlitz to make Autodev the official open source version of Bolt.new and we will be renaming to Bolt.diy. I even got to sit down and talk to Eric, the CEO of StackBlitz, about this partnership. So check that out now and then after this little segment, I'll talk about what this means for us as a community. Hey everyone, just wanted to give a quick little segment here with Eric, introducing the partnership between Automator and StackBlitz as we are making Autodev the official open source repo for Bolt.new and renaming it to Bolt.diy. So I wanted to get Eric on here, first of all, to say you've done an amazing job with Bolt.new and the product that you've created. It's helped so many people make insane applications already. Um, and now I just wanted to pick your brain with Bolt.diy specifically, where you see it going, the kind of future vision that you have for it, because you've got your own thoughts, I've got my own as well, and they really work together super nicely. So yeah, I just want to hear from you, like kind of what your vision is for it. Totally. Well, I, and I think, I mean, I wanted a huge credit to you and then the community of folks that you've pulled together um, you to work on Autodev and you know, now uh, both DIY. Because I think, I mean, it's been amazing to see the innovation that's happened as a result of, you know, y'all adding the ability to have, you know, any type of LLM powering the experience. And, you know, what just coming from the, from the world we're in, like building a, you know, kind of a frontier AI agent. You know, we, we the reason we open sourced, you know, kind of the core uh, components of Bolt is when we looked around when we were building Bolt, you know, from scratch, there was just no good examples of like actual uh, production software, you know, that have AI agents, like good examples at least. And, uh, you yeah, know, so we felt there was like, it, you know, just kind of, there was something missing in the open source world for that. And you all have to kind of take it to the next level where when you look at the, the folks that are building these frontier AI models, right, whether they're open source or closed source, the, the evals and benchmarks that they're testing these things against are, I mean, not that they're not useful, certainly in the earlier days as we were kind of trying to figure out how good are these things at coding or whatever, it's like, they're not actually representative of like real world applications. Mm -hmm. And so what folks have been using, what, what caught my eye, you know, like when, you know, actually, um, you know, when you were, you know, with your fork, was that a lot of the frontier uh, research labs are taking, you know, you know what's now bolt.diy and they're using that to test out their next gen models because it's actually it, it it's it's if you kind of like for those who are doing uh, PC gaming in the 2000s <laughs> it's like you know can it run crisis you know like for a lot of these 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 AI model providers they're now going okay can it can it run bolt because there's because there's not a lot of other things to to test it out against and this is going to be uh you know it's it's it, it's a huge gap right and you know if we want these AI models to keep getting better they need a reliable target of, hey, what can we test this against to kind of get a, a real world perspective of how well these things are going to perform. Um, and, and, and you know, y'all have enabled that to happen, you know, with the, you'll be able to swap out any LM on the fly. Um, so that's what I'm stoked about. Is it's, this, is gonna, this is already starting to change. This, this is starting to change how folks that are training models are are going about their business and, and doing it, you know, and that's, it's huge. I mean, this, this, that's going to be, you know, that we're going to feel the benefits of that uh, you know, in every AI product going forward, you know, so this yeah. is, it's a, you know, it may, it's maybe may a small number of people working on, you know, bolt.diy, but like the impact is, is huge, you know, so, so I just want huge credit to you all. I'm, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I'm definitely with you there. I mean, whenever a new model comes out before I was using bolt, I would just test it as an AI agent. Like I just had my Python script using Langchain or whatever, I'd say, how does it do as an agent? But now I also will test the model with bolt.diy, like immediately, like when Quen 2.5 Coder 32B came out, within like six hours of it being released, I had it up and running with bolt.diy, seeing how good it would perform. And I'm gonna keep doing that with every single model coming out that like anybody cares about. Um, so I'm definitely with you there. And then on my side, I have some other aspects to the vision too uh, that I think still play with that really well. One of them is 
having this be an educational project in a way. Because um, one big thing right now is like people just don't know how to work with AI coding assistance and they get bad results and they just think that the LLM is terrible and it's hallucinating and there's nothing they can do. And really there's actually a lot that goes into working with it as a co-pilot, even though it does a lot for you now, like Bolt.new generates entire full stack applications and it's a lot different than, you know, GitHub Copilot in 2022, you still have to work with it. And so I think that Bolt.diy is going to be an awesome platform just to learn how to work with AI coding assistance, but it's still going to be more than that too. It's also going to be this fully fledged product in a sense that you can run yourself and use to work with all these local LLMs with all these insanely cool features that commercial Bolt.new won't have because we can just move so fast as an open source repository. And so you can think of it like Bolt.new, this is the stable product for you to go and very easily build anything. But then if you want to experiment some really cool stuff, push the limits, build things yourself even and work with yeah. different LLMs, that's when you go to Bolt.diy. And so they work very well together. Um, and definitely Bolt.diy does have a separate vision for the things that you said, Eric, and then a lot of like, you know, the educational and cutting edge stuff that I was talking about too. So yeah, yeah, totally. And that, that's what's been amazing is like seeing, you know, all the, the different things that folks are building on top of it. I mean, this is, and it's cool because like, and we're going to be doing the same of like, it's, it's, uh, it's great. I mean, everyone can share their ideas of like, hey, how should this sort of experience work? And like, how can you expand it? And that's helped us with our product roadmap too, of like how we're like, you know, mm -hmm. doing persistence of chat messages and like, you know, having rollbacks and things like that. That stuff, it's like, that came to the open source version first, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's great. Like we get to contribute to the mix and, and your community has been contributing and a lot of other people right are able to do that. Um, I agree on your point around education. I mean, there's not a lot of good real world things to look at, you know? Um, so this is, this is providing a huge, a huge, uh, uh, you know, there's a huge gap there that this is, that this is filling. Right. Um, so yeah, I just, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's, it's really exciting. Like it, I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked for this, uh, for, you know, for us all to be kind of you know, pulling this in and joining forces here and, and, you know, taking this to the next level. Yeah, same here. I am stoked out of my mind. It's just been nonstop, just me like pouring into this repo over and over again every single day, day in, day out. And so now being able to, to partner with you and like make this, you know, the official open source bolt on you is just so cool for me and, and the entire the team of maintainers and the whole community built around it. Like it's just super exciting. So yeah, I think um, with that, We'll dive into the last part of my video here, my announcement, where I'll just talk about more what this means for our community and what we've got coming up for Bolt.diy as well. So thank you, Eric, so much for doing this with me and getting this segment together. I'm super excited for what we've got in store for the future here. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Really excited about this. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Eric. So there you have it. I am just so excited for what this partnership means for both Bolt.diy and our community as a whole. This partnership is really the best case scenario and it's really going to give us permission to say that we are actually building the best open source AI coding assistant. Bolt.new itself is just such an incredible platform and has already enabled thousands, tens of thousands of people to build insanely powerful applications with AI. So it's just an honor to partner with StackBlitz on this and it means such incredible things for Bolt.diy and Bolt.new going forward. Also, I'm going to be in the StackBlitz office hours today, the 11th at one o'clock central time. So be there for that. We're gonna have a whole segment on this partnership right after they talk about some of their super base announcements that they're doing as an integration for Bolt.new. Now, here's the thing. I fully expect this transition to not be entirely smooth sailing for everyone. I mean, there is a lot going on here. So I wanna spend a couple of minutes right now making sure that we're all on the same page, covering some key parts of this partnership and the transition. I'm gonna have some little demos of Bolt.diy up as I'm doing some talking here, just to keep it interesting, but it's really important that we're on the same page for all of these things. First of all, the Automator Think Tank is still going to be the home of the Bolt.diy community. We're gonna keep growing it into a super vibrant place to share ideas, work on the project together, and just get as many people as possible involved in the project. Our repository for Bolt.diy is going to move. It's gonna go into the StackBlitz Lab organization in GitHub, but the repo itself will still be the same. So we'll still have the same stars, the same forks, the same history for commits, the same pull requests and issues, all of that remains the same. So we really aren't losing anything. Second, I've spent a lot of time talking to the StackBlitz team about the future direction for Bolt.diy. So far for Autodev, we have had complete creative freedom for what we implement, 
how we manage our community, and also creating our roadmap and guiding the direction of the project. And I'm super happy that I can confidently say that none of that is going to change. We are still going to be able to completely keep our creative freedom. The biggest reason I can say this is because the commercial Bolt.new will be diverging from Bolt.diy, which is actually a really good thing because what this means is we can implement things for Bolt.diy without having to worry about if it makes sense for Bolt.new as well. Because after all, both projects have different visions, just like I was talking about with Eric, the specific visions that we have for Bolt.diy. DIY. So this just makes sense. And at the same time, we're still going to be sharing ideas between Bolt.diy and Bolt.new, so it's still a super mutually beneficial relationship. Third, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it really does sting that we are losing the name Autodev, which we have already started to build a reputation around as a community. But now that this is going to be the official open source Bolt.new, it definitely makes sense to have Bolt in the name. And Bolt.diy really plays well into the goals of the project, because DIY, which stands for do it yourself really speaks well to being able to run this yourself, test with your own local LLMs, and we'll be implementing crazy amounts of features to really make this a cutting edge project. Lastly, a lot more announcements for Bolt.diy and Automator coming very soon here. We're gonna be partnering with StackBlitz for events, we're gonna be getting their open source experts involved in the project, and a lot more, so stay tuned for that. I just hope that you are as excited as me for what this partnership means for Bolt.diy and all the things that we have stored in the future for this incredible project. If you appreciated this content and you're looking forward to more things Bolt.diy, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. My channel is still going to keep being the place for all the big announcements for Bolt.diy. And with that, I will see you in the next video.